When I first started teaching, I think I taught a lot of how I was taught. Here I come, I share the knowledge, I test you, you get grades. But part of equity and understanding is finding that balance between the students' needs, the content that we need to teach, and my position in the classroom. Are we able to see through their lens, their needs, and the things that they want for their children and their families? Natalia believes that our schools should be welcoming and safe for all students, and that schools should be places where all students can thrive and achieve their dreams. She shows up. She shows up for her students when it, sometimes it's hard. We all come with different needs to school, and equity means that we can give the students what they need to be successful. Equity is giving that student what he or she needs, and that's something that she's good about. She's good at connecting the dots and seeing things that aren't always there. So when a student's not gonna ask for something, she's in tune to their needs to know that they need something different that may be different than the student next to them, and she's able to adjust accordingly. The social justice work in the classroom is about helping students understand themselves, helping them understand other people so that they can appreciate differences uh, or similarities, and so that they can then be equipped to understand when injustices happen so that they can make a difference. She's just very good at knowing how to do things, and I think that's one of her greatest strengths. She shares that knowledge with kids, whereas I think sometimes that information has been kept from them and she gives them the power to share. I think it's trying to find that balance and finding what's, what's important and you're passionate about. So in my case, multilingualism and multiculturalism is, is a passion of mine and it's, it's deeply personal. I'm invested in it because it's not just work for me, it's just part of identity work and I think it's something that's important for our future generations. When Ms. Benjamin is in a class that, that she teaches, she finds more creative ways and ideas for, for her to make you understand an assignment. She'll have a lot of different ways to do something, not just one type. She is carefree. She loves everyone, loves every student, thinks that they're amazing, and helps them, and wants to help them think out of the box. My favorite part of being a teacher is the connections with the students and being able to be part of their journey as they fulfill their dreams.